open minds open minds ignore those two stars that could be a whole they could be a very good two stars two stars is, is still two stars it's, it's not one star it's not no stars stars were given okay No, I can't. I can't hear the audio now. It's <laughs> <For this show. laughs> Oh, this is a fucking farce. It is a brave first episode, I'll give them that. <laughs> NSF? National Socialist Force. Nasty sausage. No, farmer. what is that? What is that? That's her mum. Well, what does that actually stand for? NSF? I've no idea. It could be anything, couldn't it? Is this NSF? Is that their logo? The kind of pretzel? No, because it was a date. It was 1987 to... Well, no, not 87. 19 whatever to NSF. Oh, so... Yeah. Do you want Do you want to know something? The sound's gone Lieutenant again. Colonel Elizabeth Kubler. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Pre-NSF and... Post-NSF. NSF is... Now shit's fucked. There we go. Yeah. Lieutenant Colonel Elizabeth Kublik of the Civic Republic Military. Felix Carlucci, Senior Security Force Officer, Campus Colony of Omaha. People call me hot. Long story. So, is it just a CRM? They call you what? Hut. 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 Oh, I thought there. like Hut, like Jabba the Hut. Just want to remind everyone of the word cunt so they can listen to this song properly. Have we got names for these people yet? You good? Uh, Huck. No, that's not either of these. That's Huck. <laughs> no. And uh, that's ass. <laughs> I can barely remember the night the sky fell, let alone what the world was like before. NSF night sky fell. Oh, that's actually a legitimately decent guess. This world. So I don't think it's that. It's that. Nope. And I think that with everything that went away. She just said, with "Night, the sky we fell." Lost, with everyone we lost, some people yeah, think but it can happen that again. doesn't mean. Some people think <sighs> that what we have. Fuck, it's that, that, isn't it? That's yeah. what they would yeah, have put right. on their on their mums. I'm a fucking genius. Is it genius if you can guess the writing for this show? <laughs> so what? I brewed a little bit of illegal alcohol. Yeah, this is a lifetime supply. Hope. And here I thought Hope. Was her name Hope? Uh yeah, or either that or Hop. I'm hoping for Hop, personally. Cause that makes sense, because she brews beer. And she's called Hop. She's called Hop. Oh. Oh. Strangle him. I mean <laughs> That'd be amazing if she just took her belt off and fucking strangled him. Through that, the, that through would the be, bars. Yeah, that would be fun. And she grabbed the keys that are on his belt and, and let herself out and shot everyone. That would be a real Carol uh, thing to do. Yeah. Oh, something I could be but for. Hops is not Carol, mm -hmm. I don't think. Their dad don't... is Big Science Man and, and he went to I help heard you're pursuing the Nazis. I was scared. I just froze up. And my dad got separated from Mom and Hope. No, that was. No. That's cool, uh, a zombie with a oxygen plain See, like oxygen mask. Do enough then, so now, now you have to do everything yeah. for everyone. I'm I'm building a better future. Iris. There we go, pin it to the board, highlight, part, episode number one. Exactly. Zombie with your oxygen mask. Shoved so far up the future's ass you've completely abandoned the now. There are nine thousand six hundred seventy one people here. It, it paused for ages and now there's no sound. <laughs> oh, for fucking fuck, crocking and crunk, shunt. This is making me more in invested, to be fair. 
what the, the <laughs> by the arbitrary disconnects that yeah the meta narrative of us trying to actually play the episode is uh more engaging yeah yeah, yeah that's fair how long till this woman dies that's all i got this episode Everybody is so twerked up about building things back up again, but it's so pointless. Twerked up? Yeah, I... I is that what she said? Friendship. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Friendship punch, are you serious? What the fuck is that supposed to be? Please stop. Electric. <laughs> We've got the power of God and anime on our side. This is the first time that they've let anyone inside their borders. Wherever the hell their borders are. Why are you wearing a tights on your arm? He's breaking like ten provisions of the Four Corners Agreement by sending cool. these messages. My safety not assured. That's what it said. That might have been what it said, but it's letters and numbers. It could be radio static. How can you not see this? <laughs> they are bad people, Iris, and they have our dad. Are you talking about us? It's just bad people, and they have our dad. One of your wow, really? You're going to come out of the smoky, foggy alley at Very night? Bad, exactly. <laughs> you really are your father's daughter. You both are. I saw that when I landed, you with your banner. You flipping me off? How does that make us like our dad? Your brain. He did the same thing. <laughs> he too was a belligerent drunk. <laughs> Nightmares aren't as scary if they're in pencil. Okay, maybe um. more than one drink. I don't know, there was that episode of Spongebob. Oh, I've not seen that. No, this is the one with the... Hope we slept through. With the drawing? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that could be anything. That could just be random yeah. numbers and letters. Dr. K? Oh, you might have been right. Indeed. You're gonna encounter a zombie. Yep, looks like it. Good guess. great minds on a journey to create the science that will bring this world back. I'm glad you didn't and just leave it there. We're going yeah. to create the science. No one has given us more trust. <laughs> no one knows how to beat this thing, but we think and the science will help. Introduce one of them. She is Monument High Student Council President. She's going to get out her scientist. speech, look at it. Bennett. Then improvise. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're so painfully right. I have these dreams that I'm dead. I don't talk about them. The person who was helping me. <gasps> She's gone like, off script. And the last thing she told me. Is Fuck. That it's it's fucked me. again. It's fucked again. Damn it! I want to see I the. I don't trust you. I want to see I don't the know who you are. reincarnated I, Herschel. I don't know what you're doing. You will. Your father does. You all so will. That's <laughs> just not good enough. That is the tiniest, tiniest it's scratch, like isn't it? With... I'm not freezing anymore. See, she froze. Mom. <laughs> Mom. The truck. Looks like you're the one saving me, baby. Come on, stay, 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 stay where you are. No, 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 no. I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm taking this truck. 
And uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go find my family. We can all go together, okay? I can't wait, I can't wait anymore. I'm sorry, I can't wait please, anymore. Please, please, ah! oh. Um. Mom, 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 mom. Mom, I'm right here, mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking Christ! <laughs> I'm glad you didn't see it. Oh my oh, God! Fuck off! off. Glad you didn't see any of it. <laughs> fuck could die. Fuck off! <laughs> when we get there, what are we gonna when we get there? Oh my god, oh, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> what is this the... fucking sucks? The most hackneyed contrived way to kill someone and yet also oh it not really be your fault because the explosion made you jump and you accidentally pulled the trigger. Oh I did a bad I'm thing, but in a way that makes me not actually morally so reprehensible in any way. You're gonna go? All that and way. now I carry the Werther's what original in a necklace around my neck. <laughs> Before we're gone. He's smart, you should take Before him. I'm gone. Him? I don't know. It depends if he has Hodor like no strength. Karate. Why do you want to come? Yeah, do you have Hodor strength? I don't want to be who everybody thinks I am here. Mm, not good enough. Uh, I hope he can like turn into a bear or something. Sure. Also, I just realised this guy looks like fucking Doctor Who or some shit. Yeah, it's a bit uh, so, Matt Smith. It's a bit much, is what I was thinking. <laughs> it's a bit of rock. What's a bit of rock doing out here? What is it? It's a, a, a horn from a triceratops. What the fuck are you talking it's about? It's a bit of rock. That's what I've been going outside the walls looking for. My mother was pregnant with her the night that things went bad. Everyone's fucking pregnant, aren't they? Together. Christ. I never saw her again. Oh no. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So, so Hops killed his mum. His mum, yeah. I, sorry, I'm still trying to get over the fact that he just happened to stumble over a Triceratops horn, apparently, which looks just like a fucking rock. And that was the, apparently a gift from him that he had been searching for all this time, but he didn't know it was here or roundabout here. Like, fuck off. I mean, all that is, is we, he's going to stab someone with a Triceratops horn. He looks going to be coming for us. I bet he doesn't even do that. No, I bet he oh, does. Oh, wait, no, he's put it, put it on his thing already. Yeah, yeah of course. I hope he says, Sorry, you got my hand me down. So Fuck you, oh, dino dick! And stabs us all. Yeah. I'm going to give you a prehistoric beatdown. <laughs> Let's see what discoveries await us, shall we? Oh, jump in the TARDIS with me, you. Fucking tweedy little twat. We can't find her. Good. What? So did she just they kill, did, did they, they just kill everyone? Kill every all did they just kill nine thousand people? I what what the ever loving fuck? That was episode one, I guess. Episode one of The Walking Dead Beyond the World that we're watching because why the fuck are we watching it? Why? <laughs> I think this was your idea. Fuck. Pilots, pilots are tricky. You've got to set up, you know, everything. You've got to set up your plot and your characters and blah, 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 blah. Um, it just, it went... It went one too far with the generic moments. We had that 
the old woman who you know is going to die to be a catalyst dies. You have the classic reading the speech and then giving up halfway through and improvising a new speech thing. And then the fucking the 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 origin story of the death of her of their mom. They got shot and then and then the kid shot the person who shot them. That, and like, that whole scene is just that that was the breaking point. That was that was where it went from incompetence to schlock. Like sh- yeah. that was where shit really just hit the fan and um like the these these kind of things come up and become kind of uh cliches, I guess, because they're used because they work. Like the I think that you know, the old woman dying, yes, it was kind of obvious, but that's a you know, that's a thing that you need. You need that that sort of guiding light character to die so that your protagonist goes off on an adventure. So you know, whatever. Yeah, but they've, like, they've got no more advice to give, so their final parting advice means more and spurs the character on to do something. Yeah. I yeah, mean But you can't shove every single boilerplate fucking generic call to action character trait bollocks into one your your first fucking episode because it's just yeah it becomes laughable well apparently you can i like um silux serious cyrax what the more combat character yeah i like yeah. him yeah he didn't say well exactly he doesn't say very much and <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he'll become a badass fucking killing machine, it seems. He'll probably crush a zombie's head with his hands and just scream in his <laughs> yeah. like animalistic primal <laughs> rage and all this background shit. Like, f- off the bat, you've got the Alliance of Three, you've got the Civil Republic, you've got Omaha, you've got Portland, you've got all these things which are interconnected. And then there's all these events happening in what is it, the fucking Campus Collective or whatever they're fucking called. Yeah. Like this this settlement that just happened to be on a university and so they've they've run well, with that for some reason instead of being like a normal kind of... Well, I assume, I assume they went there as a safe place because it's a big-ass building and that's yeah. just what they ended up calling it, but... I guess yeah. I just I don't yeah. know if the you point... would if you would carry on with all these university traditions like they are, you know? Like sure they've got weapons places but I like what is feast day and all this shit and and also why would you call it that considering the nature of zombies <laughs> and everything? That feels like a real bad marketing move. Like you don't yeah. want to be reminding people of Hey, it's feast day. It's gorge day. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Grab some meat. Just rip it right off the bone. Yeah. Everyone's going to be eating ribs today. And it's like... Oh. Yeah. I did, so, and apparently that... Did that come and go within this episode? I don't know. Because that suddenly they were on to monument day. Mm. And it's, yeah, I don't, yeah, we didn't really see... I mean, they're all dead now, though, aren't they? Presumably. Well, it looks it's like just, it. Let's just fucking... Yeah, fuck it. Jump to the end. We've got fucking... Um, Ramsey Bolton here. With... Sandy Totsvig, or whoever the fuck that actress is. I don't... A whole bunch of dead people. We can only assume this is the campus. The four kids escaped, and they said, right, that's it, gun everyone down. Well, presumably they were going to do that anyway. Why? Because they're evil, because they're all wearing black. It's just frustrating because this... The, the This is just treading on the toes of the the original series with the whole, like, the, 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 the trust and things with the, with the groups, with, like, Alexandria and Oceanside and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, then... And they're also doing the series... One and two thing, I think. With <coughs> you want to get that checked out. Um... <coughs> oh, 
It's all right. <clears throat> it's just a very dry cough. Mm, yeah, it sounds like <clears throat> it. So I'm not... Because <clears throat> it, it's annoying when you get like a a cold and your your nose is constantly like dripping and... Yeah, well, we had that with one of the test episodes because I, yeah. I kept thinking you were laughing at all my jokes, but you weren't. You were just sniffing. Yeah, yeah. but uh, no, it's just a, it's just a very, it's just a dry cough. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm fine. Good. Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. Yeah, because they're they're redoing that the initial big settlements things <laughs> like Alexandria. They're also redoing. The CDC thing with the cure and the potential for a cure, and we already—I don't know. Mm-hmm. And I, um, I, I yeah. want to say we've moved past that, but at the same time, I don't know who this series is for. Is this for Walking Dead fans who have seen all that we've seen, or is this for absolute newcomers? Absolutely not. No, uh, like there, there's not going to be anyone who the fuck would watch this without <laughs> having watched. The original. Like, this <sighs> is not a... Uh, I don't... <sighs> I don't know, some gullible, you know, youths who are looking for some teen drama or something. I don't know. I... It's treading on the toes of the next series of The Walking Dead as well, um, with the CRM, uh, you know... I don't want to oh, spoil anything, but you know they're an actual thing that appears in the mainline series. Is that what no? You mean? But oh, they're okay. very similar to the Commonwealth, which is what the final series of. Well, they're not. Ve- uh, they're similar in terms of it's they're big and organized. Like right, you've already seen okay. the Stormtroopers. Yes, that that was what finished off where we're at at the moment is um, yeah. the end of season uh, ten. 10? 10 yeah uh but there's going to be more season 10 so it's a bit confusing yeah. but, um but yeah it ended with so an organized they're, group. They're, it's a very they're a very efficient organized large group with lots of armor and weapons but they're all in white and these guys are all in black that's so they're just going from that kind of thing but, but like i think well the yes this must the the only people who are watching this will be Walking Dead fans because they've said that... Where's Herschel? Sorry. Uh, you said you saw Herschel It's like the her row. second guy from the left of the podium. It's like Herschel's brother. Oh, his, yeah, slightly overweight, chunky brother. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like to imagine they're a distant relative. and Yeah. That's something There's, that um, makes it more tolerable. Who's the guy right on the left? Yeah, well, that's who I've noticed that's as well. Colonel, is that Colonel Sanders? That's Colonel Sanders, yeah. So, nice to know that he survived. That's good. The Rick mm. film trilogy, the helicopters that took him away, that is the CRM. So this is basically, okay. these two seasons of this is prequel to the three Rick films. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. And there was an interview, yeah. There was an interview that came out just a yesterday the day before where they were like is rick gonna appear like in this series at all and they were just like nah like this is kind of set up for the crm which is in the films and that's where rick is taken but he's not gonna be in this series so it's like well now you you don't even have like that tease this is this is for the the diehard like have to know everything yeah even if it's shit, I just need the the law fans, and yeah. yet they're doing it in this weird teen. Well, yeah, because they're because they're not connecting it to anything that people actually care about. Yeah, and and it doesn't have to all be that because then you can argue on the opposite direction that oh, it's all fan service. It's all just appealing to things that have come before it's not got its own identity we're not saying you can't have these new characters but this feels this doesn't feel like the walking dead for a start this feels like a different zombie show they the do, only they don't even call them walkers they call them empties you know well, granted okay. not everywhere's going to have the same name for them but this is That's just so like an disconnected. ongoing joke anyway isn't it 
Every well, time yeah, they meet I guess. new people, they call them different things. They were called biters for a bit, yeah. What if you're in a live fire scenario with guns and someone shouts, I'm empty, as in I need to reload my gun, but all you've heard for yeah. the past six months is empties, 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 and, you know, it's just... You might think, oh, they mean that they've been bitten, they're going to turn, I better kill them. Yeah, exactly. It's a disaster waiting to happen. Hmm. I'm I'm now going to because there's there's nothing else to do. I'm going to read all the names that have ever been said. Walkers, are you ready for this? Okay, okay, here we go. Zombie, zombie. Top ten synonyms. Top thirty zombie synonyms. Walkers, geeks, lurkers, empties, biters, creepers, roamers, the infected, rotters, rippers. Deadheads, growlers, oh my, uh, lame brains. I think that means something else, but. Stinkers, floaters, hissers, the past, the wasted, cold bodies. Oh, that's it. So, in and throughout the series and the comics, is that? No, that's just the series. They just called them walkers oh. in the action. Uh, they might have been a couple of things in the comics actually but not that many that's stupid yeah i don't remember geeks that feels a bit yeah i think that was um that was that was glenn right at the start i think god damn it glenn cancel glenn no well i guess he was i guess he was rather so if this is all set up for the crm or whatever as this big evil group or whatever, I feel like I get it already. I don't feel yeah. like there's a lot of depth to them. They wear all black. They'll lie to your face and they kill people in droves for some reason. Well, maybe we misunderstand them. Maybe that will be the twist. Maybe in the half an hour since those four kids left, someone got infected and it spread throughout the entire 9,000 people. Maybe. Like, as I say, there were... Oh, oh, that. Oh, that specific bit. Yeah, yeah this is what I'm talking about. The Yeah. It was a bit silly. It was a bit silly is perhaps one of the more generous reviews you could say... <laughs> of this scene in which our protagonist Hops and her mum are confronted by a pregnant woman who they sort of left behind but not really because it's chaos and they couldn't actually reach her Um, pregnant lady sort of takes revenge but not in a really vengeful way I didn't even realise that that was a thing I don't even know if that's what they were going for because the tone of it was not that. Just, but then why would why would they show us? I think she just appeared from. They'd not seen her before, had they? Yeah, they. The, earlier on, she was trapped behind some rubble and shit, and they couldn't reach her. And they said, "We'll come back for you." Um, and so she said, and she got out of that somehow, and said, "Right, I'm taking this truck, and I'm going to get away." And Hops' mum said, um, no. She said, don't, we can all fit in it. Just like wait a couple of seconds. The rest of my family's probably coming. Um, a pregnant woman had a gun drawn on them because, I don't know, she just wanted to escalate things, I guess. Um, and yeah, and she was like, I can't wait. I can't wait. Like, I don't know, was she having birth at that moment? What was, why couldn't was she, she wait? Maybe she was having birth. Maybe she was having... You know, that's, that's the question they should have asked is, are you having birth? <laughs> and then maybe things would have calmed down a bit. But they didn't, they didn't ask, are you having birth? <laughs> so, <laughs> no. I wish they had. I wish... I wish they had. I what wish. Do you, what do you wish that they'd? I wish. Said. I wish. <laughs> I wish they'd said to her, "Why can't you wait, ma'am? Is it because you're having birth?" 
At which point <laughs> she would have immediately shot them both for being <laughs> alien body snatchers. It was um, Hops's fault because she randomly Shit. ran at the pregnant woman holding a gun. So <laughs> yeah. the pregnant woman shot her mother, who was not actually moving towards her or anything. Well, I think her mum then moved forward slightly to grab Hops. And this oh, pregnant woman was just so startled and trigger happy. Kind of push her out of the way a bit, yeah. That she shot her in the jugular. And she died instantly. Um, at which point Hops here picks up the gun with clear intent to kill. Um, I'm just saying, in a court of law, this the fact that something explodes behind her and accidentally See, makes her pull even... the trigger. I didn't even know. Is that what happened? Yeah, I think that's the intention was that despite the steely cold look in her eyes and the clear intent to murder, she is a more redeemable character because an explosion made her accidentally shoot it and she might not have actually done that if that but, hadn't well, have happened. We didn't hold on her long enough before the explosion happened for us to know because like, that would be more believable if like there was a longer pause because if you're going to shoot someone you just you just pick up she would have just picked up the gun bang if she'd have paused for a bit and gone like "Eh," and the woman's like you don't have to do this and then the explosion and then then that it would be more more accident but that didn't look i think i feel like yeah she was gonna do it yeah, absolutely. There was no hesitation there. This was not much better with the fucking friendship karate. I'm not a fan of that. I mean, hopefully it will uh, come come back. Well, I mean, they're, Maybe they're all dead now, so I don't know. No, but he he's the one that was leading it, wasn't he? Doctor Who was the one that was... Oh, he was, wasn't he? Yeah, he said about that at the end. Um... Maybe he'll do friendship karate when he... Realizes that Thingy killed his mum. Yeah, maybe. That's something to look forward to. Clearly it draws a crowd anyway. <laughs> I mean, I, I was going to write notes and I wrote literally nothing. There was nothing of note. Our four main characters could be something. I'm willing to say that. I don't think... Any of them are, you know, I feel like there's some foundation there to work with. You've got... Yeah, they're not as annoying as I thought they would immediately be. No, no. You've got edgy nihilist. You've got preppy, positive girl. Lead, you've got the smart... Leader yeah. as well. She's kind of the leader. Yeah, I guess so. Um, and you've got smart tech kid and Hodor. So mm. that's fine. Those are fine archetypes to work with. Mm-hmm. Um, I just don't know what the fuck is they're going to do with the CRM thing. Cause like you, you have them coming out of the gate or coming out of the fog rather like the most pantomime villains imaginable. Um, and this fucking episode ends with them gunning down 9,000 people seemingly. Well, yeah, we didn't see that. Maybe it is misdirection. Maybe maybe some of those zombies did, you know, get into the walls and they they killed them to help. You know, maybe. we don't know. I just... You know. All right, fine. Maybe they're going <laughs> to... I really don't believe they are, but maybe they're going to do something with that. Maybe as our group of four broke out of the place, they damaged something that let the zombies in. There you go. Maybe, yeah, it's all their fault. Maybe. Ah. Maybe. It's going to be fine, okay? That's so what That's what I'm worried, what worried about. about. That's exactly what I'm worried no. about. I don't want it to be fine. I want it to be good, or I want it to be bombastically shite. No, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Oh. Uh, uh. I'll probably end it on that. <laughs>